Hello and welcome back to another LEGO review. Today we got the LEGO Speed Champions McLaren Alva. And it is the first convertible Speed Champion set, I'm pretty sure. And it is a brand new 2021 set. This set retails for 30 Australian dollars. Here is the front of the box and here is the back of the box. This set comes with two bags of building and an instruction booklet and a sticker sheet. Let's get on to the build. In this set you get one minifig and I gotta say it's a pretty good minifig. I like the legs, it's a nice color and the torso print's pretty good of the McLaren jumper. And it's good to get a woman driver as well. She also comes with a helmet and she comes with some back printing. I really like the detailing saying McLaren on the torso, very nice. And now onto the build. So here is the McLaren and I gotta say it's a nice build. It looks good, but is it recognizable? I don't think so, but I'm not really into hyper sports cars. I'm more into just, and we'll start off with the front. I really like the metallic half stud pieces they've used for the lights. It looks pretty good and a lot of sloped pieces to give it more dimension. And I see what they're trying to do. And for a $30 set, it does do the job. I do like the front grill and the sticker of McLaren at the front. On the sides, you also get two side mirrors that look pretty good. You don't get doors on this thing, but in reality, the car doesn't have doors. I think they did a good job capturing the sloped look of it with the Lego pieces. Then on the back side of it, it just looks a bit blocky near the back wheel, but still good. Then you got these blue fins at the back, which look good. This is where all Speed Champion sets shine. And that is at the back of the vehicle, which I think looks really good with the exhaust pipes, the back grille, and those headlights. And I think the use of red transparent axe pieces is really good. It just looks like a nice detailing. And then at the top, at the back, you can see they've used the shield bionicle piece with a sticker for the mid engine, which looks good. And I do like the sloped bricks and another sticker at the back. In the real car, the back is also a spoiler that moves up and down to control speed, but this Lego version doesn't do that. Then to the cockpit, which really shines, I think. You got two seats for two minifigs and a sloped piece for the chair, and those are printed pieces, which I didn't expect them to be. You know these car sets, they have a lot of stickers. And then you also have a steering wheel and a control panel, which I thought was a nice little detailing. Final thoughts on this set. It's a nice looking vehicle, but it's not recognizable. But besides that, I think it's a nice looking Lego convertible, but I think for the $30, it's a pretty good deal if you like McLaren cars, which I do, and I think it looks pretty good. So for that, I'm going to give it a seven out of 10. Do you like this set? Tell me in the comments. And actually tell me in the comments if you even knew this set existed. Maybe like, subscribe and comment. And maybe even check out my other YouTube channel, Will Lad. 